different than the register guard. John, I remember Micah and maybe yourself mentioning during fall camp that you guys were going to take a lot more shots down the field in, in Joe Moorhead's offense. Clearly you did that against Stanford. What, what's that feeling like when you know those are coming after, you know, kind of the ground game gets established and they dial those up? Um, it's, it's exciting because we've been pre preparing for that all, all fall camp, all off season, And um, it's just exciting to see it happen in a real game. Matt Preem, 247 Sports. Yeah, Johnny, impressive first start overall for the offense with the numbers and the, and the efficiency. What, what's to improve? What are the things that this unit needs to quickly adjust and, and fix? Um, just the little things. I think, um, I think we played well last Saturday, but there's a lot to improve on. And um, I think we, we left a lot on the field and could have scored a lot more. So just the little things. AJ McCord, coin. So Tyler's first live game of the season under his belt. What was the chemistry like with the wide receiver group? Give me a give me a grade for your quarterback. Um, a grade. Uh, I'm I'm tough on him, so I'm I'm gonna give him a B minus. I'm gonna give him a B minus. You know, uh, I'm real tough on Tyler. That's my boy. So, um, but I think he played great. Um, he got comfortable in there, and you know, he was doing his thing, and y'all saw what he could do. Eric Scopel, two four seven Sports. You had a couple tough catches down in that corner of the end zone there. Second one, they waved off. Did, did you think you had that one? I mean, kind of what was your mindset going through after that? Um, I, you know me, I'm always going to say I got it. So I think it was a touchdown. Um, my mindset was kind of just like, you know, Coach BMAC always talks about just, you know, not minding anything else, just focusing on the point of the football. So ball was in the air. That's all I was focused on. And you know, I'll try to get that touchdown. Ashley Young, NBC Sports Northwest. Johnny, as an Arizona guy, what are your thoughts on potentially playing in the snow this weekend? Uh, it's exciting. I haven't, I haven't been able to do that yet in my career, and uh, that's definitely one I need for the resume, so I'm excited. It's an opportunity for me. Jerry Thompson, Ducks Illustrated. Uh, Johnny, how do the Cougars look in their secondary? Uh, what kind of challenges do you see there? Um, I think they have, they, have, they have a great team. I think their secondary is well coached, and um, they're, they're going to be a great opportunity for us on Saturday. I think they have size and speed, and, you know, it's going to be a great challenge, challenge for us. Back to AJ. I know you guys are taking this very much one game at a time, but as you watch college football nationally, I know you have your sights set on whatever the postseason looks like, too. So how much is that playing into not just winning these games, but dominating these games as much as you possibly can? Um, I think there's a little bit that plays into it, but I think we're really just focused on, on going one and every week. And, um, you know, that'll take care of itself if we just dominate every game and play our best football. Ryan Thorburn. Johnny, traditionally, Pullman is a, a tough place to play, including for the Ducks, as you know, from two years ago. But what are you kind of expecting without that atmosphere that they usually create there without fans? Um, I'm not really too sure how it's going to be. I think uh, just this year overall is just going to be an off year, having no fans in the stadiums. But um, I think we're just going to go out there and play our, play our best game and play our best football and see what we could do. Eric Scopel. What did you make of kind of – I know there weren't a lot of catches for the younger receivers, but I think a first chance to see some of these guys in action. Kind of how did you assess the play of, of outside of the big three, you, Jalen, and Micah, how those guys perform? I think they did a great job. I think um, – they're, they're really efficient, and they were, I think overall we had a, a good game as a group, and, you know, things are, things are just getting better and better as the time goes. Matt Preem. With the environment and no crowds, you feel like this equalizes things? I mean, you guys don't have to worry about, you know, silent counts and whatnot. Is there an advantage without fans for yourself this week with being an away team? Um, I think I think that does play a part in it. Um, having no fans, you know, it kind of just neutralizes everything, and you know, we can just focus on the game and not anything else. And yeah, James Crepia, the Oregonian. Johnny, your first catch uh, came on a third down. Uh, it was one of a lot of third down conversions. It's might be a program record nine of eleven. It's a career record for Moorhead. Uh, it's a <laughs> it's an unbelievable rate nine of eleven on third. Um, when you saw that on the box score. Just what were you even thinking and just the, the consistency of the offense to deliver like that? Because that's, that's pretty unheard of. Um, I actually didn't even know that till right now, but uh, that's great to hear. Um, that's something we work on every, every day. Third down is a big down for us. And, you know, we always got to keep that ball moving down the field so we can have another play. 
and uh, score points. So, yeah. Grant Thorburn, Red Guard. Johnny, you guys talked a lot about how Tyler's been a leader even when he was backing up Herbert. Was that kind of on display in the opener? And I know you're a tough grader, but was it nice to see him kind of lead the team uh, on the field after that long wait? Um, yeah, it was nice. You know, um, I think he finally got that opportunity to step up and show everybody how he can lead. And uh, he did a great job of doing that um, during the game, before the game, um, even after the game, you know, just getting guys together and, and um, getting us fired up. So I'm, I'm excited for what he can do in the future, keeping that going and how, how he's going to end up in the end. Eric Scopel. We just spoke with your teammate, Ryan. Uh, went, took some national accolades, Pac-12 Offensive Lineman of the Week, former walk-on. What can you say about him and the contributions he, he put at there on a Saturday? Uh, Ryan walks, you know, he's, he's the definition of a hard worker, you know, a guy that can, a guy, a guy that works super hard in the weight room, you know, off season, doing all the things right, um, all the things that coach is asking for. And, you know, he deserves every, every little uh, inch of, you know, playing time and everything that he does on the field. And, you know, he did a great job on, the, on uh, Saturday, and he's going to continue to do a great job. A.J. McCord, coin. Okay, so if you give Tyler a B minus, that means you think he had, like, a full letter grade and then some to get better. Do you think what is keeping him – like, when do you think he's going to reach that potential? Um, you know, I think he can reach it tomorrow any anytime he wants to I think he just you know um him being confident and getting comfortable in there and making the plays that I know he can make you know that that's what's going to do it for him so you know he he's he's obviously done a great job but there's a lot more things he could do that's all we have for you Johnny appreciate your time appreciate you guys